Hi friends, welcome to Saturday in the studio. My name is Lisa Schmidt and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Uh, my husband and I love to do these broadcasts for you to teach you, to show you, to share Stampin' Up! with you. And to laugh. And to laugh. <laughs> we're going to laugh today because our um, stamp set that we're using is called Hippest Hippos. And it is just so cute. I keep hearing people say, or some, some, some of my friends have said, well, I don't think I'd ever use that. Yeah, well, just wait, because it's so very, very cute. Okay, hippos, hippos, are you ready? So you're always on point with our little ballerina. You're so hip. Ah, oh, you really are the best, Dave. And love you a ton. With a little flower in the wink. They're so fun. Okay, here we go. Ready? So the stamps are darling. These are the stamps um, and then the words. But to show you, these are all the dyes that you can use. Oh my gosh. So you could stamp it and color it. You could stamp it on gray, basic gray, and then add some color. That's another way to get around kind of more of the coloring. Look at the boat. We've got flowers, umbrellas, scuba, sunglasses, a tub, and some hearts, and a little hat party hat. And then don't forget the water here. This piece came from right on top of it. So the water doesn't actually, or the dye here doesn't actually, it's this dye. It only cuts out the top. It does not cut out the bottom. So you could have it as tall as you want. But when I cut out the top, that's what was left. And you could certainly use that. Um, are you ready for one? Of the, let me just show you. So because there's so many little pieces <clears throat> in this stamp set, here's what I did. Look, there's one of those little stars. Here's what I did. I put them on here on a very basic, um, I want to say typing paper, copy paper, not typing paper, copy paper. And I traced around them mostly just to make sure I have them all because there's a lot of these little pieces and how am I going to know? So I just traced around and, oh, I've got the glasses out. Great the, idea. Yeah, thanks. And the big ones I, I, I know I've got. With my magnet, I could not use cardstock. That's why I said I just used the basic um, copy paper. Copy paper, yeah. And Picture then I have paper. these on the side. So, all right, are you ready? I got to show you something else. I'm dying. You can use the accessories on the penguin. The so I don't know if you can see. I did put um, crystal effect. No, not crystal effects. I did no. Oh. I actually used, and I will tell you when we make ours it's actually um uh it's not the clear sheets the clear sheets were really thick they're a little bit too thick to use on there so i actually use the piece that comes with your stamp set oh. yep and then look at this guy snorkeling he also has that on can you see it there it is these are the eyes dave and then uh i forgot to put his nose so i'll go back and put that but these you end up with two right because you have alternate colors isn't that, aren't those? <laughs> I'm already dying. The whole thing just cracks me up. All right. Let's make a card first where we're kind of just using pure stamping. No die cuts, just pure stamping. So I am using Flirty Flamingo, a typical or standard half sheet of cardstock. And I am going to use this die, which came from the scalloped contour dies. Funny thing is I use these all the time and I use the flowers a little bit but I use these all the time they're just it's like the perfect size so on this one and let's see it is photopolymer so I'm going to grab my little mat here and put that on okay so we're gonna stamp our little ballerina but before we stamp her my block is dirty that's what's going on here sorry about that um, before we stamp her we are going to stamp I guess it could be a him we're going to stamp the woohoo, hmm. but it's pink. So ballerina uh, hippo. I'm thinking it's pink. a her. All right, um, flirty flamingo is the color we're using. So I'm going to coordinate with the ink, which is one thing I absolutely love about Stampin' Up. Can you turn your mat over? Can I turn my mat? Oh, oh, Rotate so that, it like that. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I'm going to stamp my woohoo. It just feels like it might not be dark enough. Let's just make sure. I'm going to stamp that here. Woohoo! <laughs> what a great phrase. Woohoo! And then using this free item, amazing phrases. So I've got the woohoo, and I'm going to, going to use um, you did it. Woohoo! You did it right here, this one. And I'm just going to do that in memento black. 
with a little dimensional gone. Woohoo, you did it. So fun. And I'm just going to stick that right underneath there. So the hippest hippos, you yes. can get free with a $50 uh, purchase. Yes, let me show And the show amazing them. phrases you can get free with a $100 purchase. So you can get the hippest hippos. The stamp set is free with 50 And the dies are free with 50 So that would be, yep. That would be 100 Yep. And then we also do have these amazing phrases, which are also free with 100 so, so very fun. Okay. Woohoo. You did it. All right. Now we got to put our little ballerina on. Remember, we're just doing pure stamping. So I'm not going to die cut this out. I'm just going to stand her. Oh, that's right. I did die cut it out because otherwise, okay, I'm going to make her like jumping then over the, <laughs> yeah. will that work? Oh yeah. Okay. She looks more like she's skipping. There we go. That's fine, because I'll show you what I was, when you die cut it out, I was thinking, anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and color this. And um, while I'm coloring this, I don't know, Dave, if you want to do a little uh, something, something, you can. I am using, before you go, dark gray granite, and I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo Light and the Flirty Flamingo Dark. And then I'm going to put on her nails, I'm going to put dark sweet sorbet. All right. Of course you are. I am. So I'm going to color this while you make an announcement. How's that sound? Sure. Thanks, hon. Um, just want to remind you, coming up we have, oops, not Kids Craft Camp. Um, on the fourth Thursday of the month, we have Stamp Club here in the studio. It's a chance for you to come, make three cards, use some of the latest products. Um, we um, And so if you like to try new products before you buy, in fact, mm. someone just stopped by the, yeah. the garage sale. And she's like, you know, I know if I just get my hands on this that I would know whether I want it or not and then could go ahead and buy it. So Lisa quick ran downstairs, brought it up. She got to touch, feel, use it. And lo and behold, she bought it. Stamp Club is just that way. You get to come and try things, learn techniques and laugh. And <laughs> then you can decide what you want to buy. So We have such a good time. Yep. As I said, fourth Thursday of the month. And the next one coming up is July 28th. So that is a Thursday um, evening, 7 p.m. So if you could just let us know by July 26th. The way you let us know, go to the stamperstudio.com, click on clubs, and then you will see Stamp Club in the studio. And you can go ahead and just register for it there. So next Stamp Club coming up July 28th here in the studio. Thank you. All right. So we are going, I used the light flirty flamingo on her leotard, right? That's what that's called and the dark flirty flamingo on the little ruffle. And I think instead of using the sweet sorbet, I'm just gonna give her nails this color because how fun is that? Wow, so cute. So one thing I've liked doing with the hippos is using our uh, color lifter. It just gives it, I'm gonna put a little bit here. It kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. It just makes it a little, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like it makes it a little bit a little Look. more color variation. Exactly. So looks a little more realistic if we could have a hippo doing a woohoo on a <laughs> after dancing all, on a, a woohoo. Ballerina hippo <laughs> dancing above you hoo or woohoo needs to be realistic. I you know, I just saw that in National Geographic last week. <laughs> I know, right? So I literally just laid this on top of the black and just cut the edges close close to that. And I'm going to put this at an angle here. Remember, we are doing just pure stamping because pure stamping is enough. Um, and then I am going to put some of our little gems on here. So these are the solid faceted gems. And I'm thinking I'm going to use these light, lighter pink ones. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. All right. So we need, oh, here's what I had been thinking. You're going to die. I'm just going to do it and you can do it in, in blue. Her nose? No, not her nose. I'm going to give her a little necklace. Oh. <laughs> I know you don't dance ballet with a necklace, but it just came to me and I was like, oh, that's a cute idea. We'll do that on this one. <laughs> Are you dying yet? I'm dying. All right. So there's her little, I'm going to pull that one up. There's her little necklace. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> 
little necklace. And then let's put a couple of the gems just sort of around to give it a little bling bling, a little more bling. That there, and I'm going to use one more big one over here. It's just for the record. Ballerina hippos love their bling. Yeah, they do. Have you ever seen a ballerina hippo without bling? Never. I'm saying no. Uh-uh. You have not. So <laughs> there you go. There's our hippo, our ballerina hippo. How fun is that? I love it. Um, speaking of a ballerina hippo, can I show you one other ballerina hippo? Sure. I wanted to get my card, but that's okay. The other one I made. We can show it on the another, another time. Night. Oh, it's right here. Hello. Sorry. Before I move on, this is the ballerina hippo that I had made for a swap. So obviously I die cut those out, colored them, and then stuck them on. But this one, like I said, pure stamping. I think that works. Oh, for it's sure. It's so cute. She looks like she's actually, she could be tap dancing on that one. Are you ready? <laughs> Ah, uh, you really are the best. And I put a little, um, this is one of our pearls that's in the new catalog. You ready? Twist and shout. Happy birthday. <laughs> are you dying? Okay, you're not dying. I'm dying. And I did forget to color his leg. I meant to back, go back and get that. There we go. Okay. Are you just dying? I am. <laughs> Look how cute that is. What I really wanted to do is like stack up hippos. So it looked like on the front looked like oh, she wow. was standing on a hippo, but then it didn't, that didn't quite work out. But I thought that was really fun. Like he's ready to catch her as she falls, or if she falls into the tub. <laughs> All right. I obviously am enjoying this. Did you have anything else you want to say? Nothing Cause I'm going to, nothing else. I have one more card I want to make. Oh. Is that okay? Go for it. All right. It, um, this one has a lot of little pieces because I used a lot of the dies. But what I want to tell you is that here is like the deal on making all those little pieces. So I took a piece of our adhesive sheet. I stuck on some, um, this is actually granny apple green and the melon mambo and the blah, 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 Tahitian Tide. And then there's some real red. So I stuck all those on there. And then you can put all the dyes on at the same time and run it through. And they're self-adhesive. And then they're, yeah, self-adhesive. I think with something this small, you really want it to be self-adhesive. So, all right. We are going to use my favorite color, Parakeet Party. Parakeet Party. And we're going to stamp on this and make, put a little... Okay, so I die cut out um, the, the, I double die cut, double. So I die cut here with our little wave like this, like this. Okay, like that. And then I also die cut one more down so that I can stick the hippo in here. I also ran this, by the way, actually, this is the one I'm going to use because I ran it through to make it match. That's the same die I used. The contour mm, dies. I yep. think so. Um, so yeah, I did the same thing here. And I'm going to take my little hippo. Here she is. Here they are. I already colored them. So this is her. Um, and I know she looks like a ballerina, but do not be deceived, friends, because she is not a ballerina on this one. I think we need to color her little um, tummy there. Maybe just this light color. Sorry, let me just add a little bit of color here because she looks kind of, I don't know, maybe it could be gray, I guess, but we're not going to see the tutu. So we're going to tuck this in here and just see that, like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to glue that on. Uh, let's go ahead and grab adhesive. I was so excited. I mean, if you like, I'm just trying to see, did I do it on? Yes, I did. If you enjoy, um, like, I want to say like paper dolls or anything like that. I don't know. It's very fun. I need my take your pick. It's here. It's right in front of me because I did do this on the um, adhesive sheets, I believe. Let's get it off. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember if I did or not. I should be. I sh Anyway, I'll just put adhesive on this one. It's fine. <laughs> you can't stick it down until you stick in the hippo. True. So we'll stick in our hippo, get her situated. We don't, don't want her skirt to show. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on her head. 
and line her up right here. How cute is that? Okay, but wait, but wait. So she is uh, snorkeling. So here's her snorkel. Here's her little snorkel. So here's how I did it. I die cut it out with the adhesive sheets. And then the easiest way to do this is to like pick off a little bit of the adhesive sheet and then it comes right off. And this is now self-adhesive. So she is snorkeling. Put that. I guess it goes in her mouth, doesn't yep. it? <laughs> Not her nose. Not her nose. Nope. There we are. And, oh, I hope I still have it. I had a lot of little pieces, which is why I put them in there. It's a um, her. Mask. Yep, the mask. Here it is. Okay, so here is that same. This is the, hmm, what do you call sheet. it? The little plastic sheet. Yep. And then this is going to go on top of it. And that's going to go over her so it looks like goggles. So uh, that piece I actually don't need. I am going to put adhesive on this. We have a lot of little pieces here and some of you are probably like, oh my gosh, I would never make that, which I also would have thought. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is too stinking cute. I was dying. So let's pull that off. It's not as bad as it, it's not that hard. It's really not, you just gotta be, want to play a little bit. So pull that off. It came right off when I was doing them before. <laughs> Just saying. All right, here's our goggles. So she is wearing, she is snorkeling. I'm just trying to see you get that on there. There we go. So she's snorkeling, okay? And this one is going to go, I got that dirty. I'm gonna flip the whole thing around. This one is going to go here because it's going to be a uh, Easel card. card. Yep. So I just have one question for you, sir. Actually, I'll just do, I mean, I thought this looked a little plain, so I thought we needed a little sparkle or a little something. So I'm going to just put that there and I'm going to put another one up here just to give it a little bling. More bling. Are you yeah, not? Keep going. Okay. So this is our in color shimmer paper, which is so fun. There. And then she's going to sit right there. This is this and that is that. Okay. So there we go. And then this piece is going to go up. The bigger one is going to go up here. Yep. Okay. Just checking. Just making sure. I just felt like it was a little plain and I was trying to figure out what could go up here. And I think this will work. All right. There we go. Okay. So that's our front. <laughs> Guess what's going to go? Oh, this is what I was going to ask you. Did we want blue or did we want the green? But um, inside, we're going to build a little guy. And you are just going to, I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build him. So here, um, we're using this guy because he also is going to be sitting in water, which is the water I first had over here when I was, mm -hmm. yeah, here it is. So he is sitting in this water. How fun is that? And so let's get him in he here. But he is not just sitting in the water. He is sitting in a boat. A boat in the water. <laughs> All right. Is that, and this I did on... Um, um, the foam sheet. me out. Yep, a foam sheet. So I'm going to put him in the boat. Make sure he's covered. I don't look naked. And stick that little boat inside. Let's see, where is she on this side? She's kind of there. We're going to stick the boat like over on this side, I think, on the left. There we go. And so we just need to put some adhesive on this. Are you dying? Like, oh my gosh, that's, that's why we started with like pure stamping. <laughs> because... Sometimes you don't want to do all that. All right. Now, he is wearing sunglasses. So here are his sunglasses. They are red. And I know you're thinking, well, wait a minute. Sunglasses aren't. Just, just wait. There's his glasses. And I guess we could leave that red part in there, huh? To make them sunglasses or would it be brown? doesn't matter. 
I'm going to stick this back in there. So these are his sunglasses. How cute are they? And grab that other one. It does come right off. I do find I do like my take your pick quite a bit because you just need that little extra to help get it off. All right. So this one's going to go on this side like that. So he's got his super cool sunglasses on. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, but wait. We're going to put a little life ring. That's what he is tossing out to her. So I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> Dave's like, what? What? Don't you think that's cute? You don't like it? You like just the boat? Whatever. No, not whatever. I'm going to put the um, propeller on I the back of the boat. I don't think he's tossing it to her, but okay. you can have a ring in the water. Well, it's better than him zooming off and leaving her. <laughs> All right. I probably have spent enough time, but I thought the ring in the water would be cute or here, but I will go ahead and finish that. But look how cute this is because he pops up. Pop up his ears a little bit. There we go. So it's a little pop-up card like that, or easel card, excuse me, an easel card. And then you just need some words here that say something fun. So I'll go ahead and finish that. I feel like I've spent a lot of time on this already, but I'll finish that and make sure to post it. Isn't it cute? I think it's really cute. <laughs> All right. Let's pull some of our basic stamping. No, what do we call it? Pure stamping. Pure stamping back in here. So if you like playing with little things that, like that, they were quite fun today. So just letting you know. <laughs> All right, friends. Um, what was a Saturday? So we will see you on Monday. Looking forward to it. So this Saturday, right now, we are in California, actually visiting a good friend of ours who usually watches the broadcasts. So um, make sure you like the page, share it with your friends. If you stamp something, put it in the comments so we can all enjoy it. All right. All right, friends, have a wonderful weekend and we will see you on Monday. Happy stamping.